Hello friends. So in this question it's given that a motorcyclist drives from point A to point B with a uniform speed of 30 km per hour. So uniform speed of 30 km per hour and returns back with speed of 20 km per hour. We have to find out its average speed. Okay, so what do we need to find out? Average speed. This is what is our objective. So the moment we see that we have to find out average speed, we, we our brain must start thinking about what's average speed. So average speed is nothing but total distance traversed. Traversed, mind you, this is speed, so hence total distance traversed. If it was velocity, it would be total displacement traversed. So total distance traversed divided by total <coughs> time taken to cover this distance not just any time total distance uh, total time taken to cover the given distance so what's happening here let's let's draw a quick representative diagram what is it so let's say this is point a and from here the motorcyclist goes to point b so this is the ongoing journey ongoing ongoing journey right and then and then it comes back in this direction so it's point A again and point B, so this is return journey. Return journey. Now, return journey. <coughs> Let's say this is part one and part two. Let's do uh, part one and part two separately. So, in part one, let's say velocity is equal to V1 is equal to how much it's given? 30 kilometers per hour, right? And let's say the time taken is T1. So, time is T1 and let's say the distance covered is S right now clearly V1 is equal to S upon T1 right this implies S is equal to V times T1 or or T1 is equal to V sorry T1 is equal to S upon V2 now similarly phase so this was phase 1 so phase two, phase two, the last three would be V2, right? And in this case, it's 20 kilometers per hour return journey. Time taken is let's say T2, okay? Now distance would be same, why? Because the distance between A and B is same. We cannot change the distance between A and B. So distance is same. So again, in this case, it will be V2 equals S upon T2, so R, T2 is equal to S upon V2, right? Now, let's go to average speed now. So if you see, what's this average speed here? Let's do it here. So it's actually represented by V bar, right? So average speed is equal to total distance traveled. So what is the total distance traveled? While ongoing journey, it was S and uh, return journey, it was uh, S again. So this is the total distance traveled divided by total time taken. So what's the time total time taken for the journey? T1 plus T2, isn't it? So this means 2s upon, let's substitute the value of T1 and T2 from this and this. So we get S upon V1 plus S upon V2, isn't it? So this means it will be 2s, okay, and S common, I get 1 upon V1 plus 1 upon V2, I can take S common from the denominator. So if you see, if you see, this S and this S gets cancelled, okay? Because it's non-zero, non-zero. Now, this means, I can write, I can write 2 upon, let's see the denominator what's here. So it's V1, V2, we take LCM and this is V2 plus plus V1, right? This means it is 2 times V1, V2 divided by V1 plus V2, right? This particular thing will go up in the numerator and numerator and hence it is 2 V1, V2 divided by V1 plus V2. Now let's substitute the value. So 2 times it's 30 into 20 divided by 30 plus 20 so hence this is uh you see um one twenty to the six to the twelve twelve hundred divided by fifty and the units are kilometers per hour right because everything 
both v1 and v2 are in kilometer per hour so if you say this is 24 right so average speed is now 24 kilometers per hour